Hi, it's Lee at My Productive Mac, and this video here is just a quick one for you users of Alfred that may not know about a significant feature release that came with version 4.5. Now, 4.5 dropped in early August and included universal actions, which allow you to carry out specific actions on text, URLs, or files by tapping a hotkey. Universal actions are configured from the features section in here, and we have two windows, so general, which is where we are now, and then actions. Let's cover general first. So this top section here allows you to designate a key that we can press during a standard Alfred search. And this will bring up a universal actions menu. We can see that the right arrow, the control key and the function key are chosen here. And you don't need to press them all, just one. So I'll bring up an Alfred search and search for a file. Now I'll press function. And here we have a list of actions that I can carry out on this file. It takes the list of actions that we just saw in that actions window and then it filters them down to show me those that I can actually do now. Okay, let's escape out of that. And then next we have the selection hotkey. So this is the key combination that you're going to press when you have some text highlighted. Now this is the default combo and if you have one password installed then you may find that this clashes with that default combination. So you may need to change this one. Okay, let's test it. I'll open up Safari. I've got a Max Sparky article open here on Mind Node, so let's find some text. Okay, there's the Mind Node app name there. I'll highlight it and then press my selection hotkey. And here we can see some text based actions that we can carry out. So there are no file ones here like we saw earlier, just the text ones. Okay, and scroll down here with the trackpad. And we've got lots of web searches here that can be carried out, and I'll show you why these appear shortly including this custom one that I made to search for text within Screencast Online to see if a video has been done of it. And if you want to know how to make that, then leave a comment and I'll make a quick video on it. But I'll select, and sure enough, we have just done a MindNode video actually. I didn't realize that, I need to check that out. Okay, I'll close that and then come back to preferences. And this last option here will determine the order that the actions are listed in. So if it's unchecked, then it will maintain a consistent flat order. But if you check this, then it will be listed in the order that you most use the actions. Okay, over here on the right hand side, and you can determine whether or not any workflow file or universal actions will be shown in the results. And I've not played with this a lot yet. I'll be checking them out soon though, before I do a more detailed video on this for Screencast Online. And then below that is where you can check to include the web searches that we saw earlier. So if I uncheck these, then go back to Safari, highlight the text and bring up the universal action menu. And sure enough, we don't have a lot there now because we unchecked those web search actions. So that is a very quick primer on universal actions. And as my workflow matures, I'm gonna share some updates in the coming months. And there's also gonna be a slower, more detailed video on Screencasts Online very soon. So thanks for watching. Check my site out please below and also subscribe to see more videos weekly or as I find applications that I just love and want to share.